Hello, my name is Patrick Jameson, and in this video, we're going to install our assembled frame. We're also going to insert our sliding glass door panels, our handles, and the keepers. Let's begin. After dry fitting the frame, ensure you have a nice continuous bead of sealant down the block, across the concrete, and up the other side. Using your hammer drill and a masonry bit, pre-drill the block through the pre-punched holes of the frame. Once holes are drilled, get the dust out of the holes, fill the holes with sealant, and then anchor your frame using a masonry fastener. When needed, use shims to keep your frame fully supported and to keep it square and true at every fastener. Once all fasteners are anchored in the block, cap the heads of the fasteners with sealant. Any unused holes, you can go ahead and fill with sealant. On this side of the jam is my keeper, so I am not gonna fill those holes. It's now time to install the sill riser. First, clean the bottom of the sill riser, top of track, and lower interior jams with denatured alcohol. Now apply sealant to underside of the sill riser and lower interior corners of jams. Here's the sill riser. The longer leg is going to face the interior side of the opening. Using my rubber mallet, I'm now going to snap it on. Once the riser snapped on, apply a bead of sealant to the riser and the jam. Now it's time to snap the sill insert into place. The sill insert is gonna snap into the sill pan. The pre-punched holes are gonna face the interior side and these legs of the jam are gonna go into these notches of the sill insert. Using your rubber mallet, you're gonna snap this into place. Remember, do not apply sealant to the sill insert and the jam. The little red bag that you received, you'll notice that there's screws inside of the bag. These screws are gonna fasten the sill insert into the sill pan through the pre-punched holes of the frame. Your drain hole plugs must remain in the sill insert. These are our frame head inserts. They're gonna go into the channel of the head to cover up your fasteners. Using your rubber mallet, you're going to snap the frame head insert into the channel. And now the other insert. The next step is to install our panels. We're going to unpackage and set this panel into the track first and then this one. Keep in mind the adjustment roller holes will face the exterior of the opening. In order to install the panel, the top of the panel must be inserted into the head of the frame first, and then the bottom of the panel will swing and sit on top of the track. Now we're going to unpackage the second panel. To adjust your panel's roller, use a number three screwdriver and take the weight off the panel. Turning it clockwise will raise the panel. Turning it counterclockwise will lower the panel. Adjust each panel's roller when necessary. It's now time to install our bumper and style jam inserts. Here is our style jam insert and here is our bumper jam insert. The style jam insert is gonna get snapped into this channel of the jam, and the bumper jam insert is gonna get snapped into this channel of the jam. Using your mallet and a block of wood, snap the bumper jam insert into the channel. Now it's time to install our style jam insert.
we are gonna follow the same steps on the left side of the door with our bumper jam insert and our style jam insert. It's now time to install the striker plate, also referred to as a keeper. Inside the box with the handles, you'll find the striker plates and the screws for the plate. Fasten the striker plate through the pre-punched holes in the style jam insert and the mainframe jam. Before tightening the screws on the striker plate, you may need to adjust the height of the striker plate. To determine this, take a measurement from the track to the pin of your lock and apply that same measurement to the bottom hole of your striker plate. Once the striker plate's height is adjusted correctly, hand tighten all four screws. Now I'm gonna install the handles. Your composite handle is gonna be on the exterior of the panels and your metal handle with lock is gonna be on the interior side of the panel. Here's the lock and the color match screws. Now we're gonna install the handles. Here's the metal handle for the interior side of the door. We're gonna insert the handle and with this Allen key provided, we're gonna tighten the set screws. To check the function of the dual mortise lock, press in the anti-slam pin and turn your lever. I'm now gonna follow the same steps on the left panel when installing the handles and the lever. Now we need to apply a continuous bead of sealant around the perimeter of the mainframe. So to recap, in this video, we installed the mainframe. We've added our handles, we've added all the inserts, and adjusted the panels. In the next video, I'm gonna show you some of the adjustments that can be made, as well as the finishing touches.